Welcome to the Purpose Breakthrough Podcast, the podcast for men who are ready to stop chasing fulfillment and start making clear, confident decisions while taking aligned action towards their true purpose. I am your host, Tyler Woods, and my intention is to help you cut through the noise so you can do what you're meant to do. Let's dive deep. Breakthrough to the life you were meant to live. Today, I want to talk a little bit about vision. Vision. Where am I going? What do I really want? When you don't know where you're going, and you don't have any trust that everything's going to be okay, you might feel lost. Life might feel meaningless. Without direction, there's a restlessness, just kind of wandering around looking for the next thing, just showing up. But when you have a vision, things become more aligned because you know where you're going, whether it's your whether it's a vision given to you or a vision you've created for yourself. But how do you how do you get that? How do you start that? It starts in contemplation, slowing down to actually understand what life is like right now, letting all of the busyness of like, oh, I've got to do this thing and over here and I, oh, this, 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 and this, setting aside everything that's taking your attention, slow down and actually look at your life, contemplate that categories, mental, emotional, physical, relationships, finances, spirituality. Your life's purpose. And ask yourself the very important question. What do I really want? Because when you can be honest with yourself about your desires and what you really want in this world, what you want to create, what you want to receive, then you can begin to dare to ask. Here's a thought. Worthiness, do you feel? Worthy of those desires? Do you feel worthy to even ask for what you really want? That's that's a whole other topic. But asking, what do I really want? What do I want my life to look like? What I want to be doing? How do I want to be feel while I'm? How do I want to feel while I am doing it? And creating a creating a vision starts with that question: What do I really want? Once you have an idea of how you want life to be, how do you want to feel, what you want to have happen in your life, making that declaration is power. It's trust. It's trust in yourself. It's trust in something greater. And I know for myself, perfectionism has held me back from making declarations like that. Like, oh no, what if I what if I ask for my life to look like this? Or what if I ask for this and it and it doesn't show up the way that I wrote it down, right? People talk about manifestation and getting things and asking the universe and all that stuff. And that's that's all well and good. But ultimately you have to actually move towards and do do things to get that. And there can be a tendency of just like, what do I need to do? What do I, I, I I don't know how to get there. So I I can't even begin to think about that. And thinking about creating a vision is it's, it's more about, about, more about an experience, right? How you want to feel? What's the quality of your life? What's, what's the feeling of it? And the tangibles come with that, right? Because everything we do, everything we, we feel that we need to get is ultimately about a feeling, a state of being. Once I get the thing, then I feel a certain way. Awesome. I feel, I got a thing. I feel a certain way. I do another thing. It's that be, do, have paradigm equation. And so when you have a vision, you say like, okay, a year from now, my life's going to look like this. I'm going to feel excited. I'm going to be on purpose. I'm going to have more money. My house is going to feel like this. Uh, I look around and I have all this space. You're great. You say you got a plan. I'm going to achieve this in a year from now. 
Let's break that in half. What's life going to be like in six months? What's the best case scenario? Again, feeling into how like, okay, what's the experience going to be like? What's it going to look like? How am I going to be? And then break that in half again. Okay, in six months. Okay, now three months. What what what's my life going to be like in three months? If this this is the thing that I want. This is the direction that I'm going. And then break that in half. And you know, a month and a half. What's my life going to be like? What am I going to be doing? What's going to be shifting? And from there, you you begin to build yourself this plan. And with a plan, you can find out exactly what are the actions that you need to take. Right? Okay. If I want to have this big venture. In three years from now, in a year and a half, what's the halfway point between those two things? Okay, my life's going to look something like this. And then halfway between that, six, seven, eight months from then, from now, it's going to look like this, right? There are actions that you will need to take to get to where you want to go. And the thing about vision is the clarity comes through actually taking action. Putting something out there, declaring it, just like, I'm going to make $20,000 a month. Great. Shoot for it. If it doesn't happen, you've taken action towards something probably greater than you thought you could. That's where facing resistance comes in. Resistance, a whole other topic for, for another episode. But when you find those places of resistance at your edge, you set those big goals, you set those big visions and move towards them. That's that's when you're growing. You're growing in your nervous system, you're growing in your your brain, your brain's map of what's possible in the world. And that's how life works, right? You achieve these things. A vision is more than just a short term goal, right? A short term goal is like, okay, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to have this much money on this thing. Vision is on a much larger scale, right? The thing about vision, it, it might be something completely unknown. To create a vision for yourself, you have to dream and think greater than your current environment. You have to think greater than your current emotional state, greater than your greater than your thoughts, right? It's just like, I want to do this. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Maybe I'm not confident enough to do this. Maybe I'm uh, not disciplined enough to do this. But by declaring this, I trust that I'm going to get to the place where I am going to be that person. I intend to become this person. And once you have this plan, once you have this vision, you can begin to align your actions on a day-to-day -day basis. It's like, okay. What am I doing today to move towards this vision? Continually refreshing myself with that vision, seeing it, experiencing it, reading it, living it, right? Not just writing it and then forgetting about it, right? Moving towards something is the process of moving away from what is now and then aligning with whatever the path is to get there. The path could be a straight line, but let's face it, it's never going to be straight. It could loop all around and be all crazy, be a crazy zigzag. But just seeing like, all right, what do I need to do right now to get myself more aligned with that path? Again, continuing to slow down and contemplate. What am I doing right now that is aligning me with this vision? What am I doing right now that's totally taking me off that path? Right? These steps of slowing down, contemplating, asking, what do I really want? And then taking a line action. That's the, that's the whole process. That's the whole thing. All kinds of stuff is going to come up on that path. But ultimately, that's the path. And that's the process of creating a vision and moving towards it. Thank you for tuning into the Purpose Breakthrough Podcast and for investing in yourself today. If you're ready to stop chasing fulfillment and want to start making clear, confident decisions while doing the work you're meant to do, head over to tylerisit.com. There you can learn more about working with me to create a life of true purpose and alignment. This is just the beginning.